I'm Steve Lacey. And I'm Natasha Verma. 23-year-old Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a murder in Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that it was a murder for hire. Y'all, not Remy Ma's son allegedly unaliving Nikki's cousin-in-law. Y'all, it's getting crazy in these rap streets. Nikki and Remy Ma have been beefing for more than 15 years now, but things truly got out of hand with this drama. Remy's son Jason was arrested by the cops for the murder of a man who happens to be Kenneth Petty's cousin. And now Nikki is convinced that she was the original target and that Remy allegedly put a hit on her. Y'all sit down for this because we about to get our detective tea on. This situation is getting crazy y'all because Remy Ma's life just took a wild turn. Her oldest son got arrested by the cops for allegedly unaliving someone back in 2021. He was arrested a few days ago on murder charges and things are looking very bad for him. Now just when we thought that the gossip around Remy Ma and Papoose couldn't get any juicier with rumors about Remy Ma allegedly cheating on Papoose with rapper Easy the Block Captain, things now went full on crazy. Her son Jason Scott was busted by the NYPD and slapped with charges like first degree murder, second degree murder murder, criminal possession of a weapon, and reckless endangerment. Now for those of you who don't know, Jason is a son that she had from a previous marriage, way before she met Papoose. So he isn't Papoose's biological son, but Jason is not the only one who got arrested because it turns out that his friend Richard Swiger also got arrested and hit with first degree murder and reckless endangerment charges as well. And don't forget the criminal possession of a weapon charge for him too, because this duo is in some serious hot water. Now when the news first dropped, everybody was scratching their heads and wondering what exactly happened. First degree murder is serious. It's not a joke because it usually means 25 to life if found guilty. So whatever Jason and Richard are accused of, it's definitely serious. The police spilled some tea in a statement and confirmed that this whole case is linked to the murder of a 47 year old man named Darius Gulebo on June 7, 2021. According to reports, Darius was no stranger to law enforcement after having been arrested 13 times and serving three jail terms. According to the state attorney general's office, Gulebo was known as a D-block on the streets. He was among 54 people who were indicted in a sweeping investigation dubbed Operation Heat Wave in November 2020. According to the AG's office, Gibbo was charged with supplying a drug ring in upstate Jefferson County, according to Attorney General Letitia James. The NYPD released another statement saying, police responded to a 911 call of a male shot at the intersection of 148th Street and Rockaway Boulevard within the confines of the 113 precincts. An NYPD spokesperson told XXL, Upon arrival, officers observed a 47-year-old male, unconscious and unresponsive, with multiple wounds to the head and chest. EMS reported to the location and transported the victim to Jamaica Hospital Medical Center, where he was pronounced deceased. It also revealed that the police are also investigating the possibility that it could have been a murder for hire. Having a celeb mom and getting tangled up in this kind of mess is straight up crazy. But people are saying that the apple didn't fall too far from the tree since Remy Ma has her own history with the law. I'm talking about how Remy did time for shooting a friend. Back in May 2008, Remy was sentenced to eight years in prison for shooting her associate, Makita Barnes-Joseph. She was convicted on multiple charges like attempted coercion and assault. But here's the kicker. She wasn't sorry at all. Word is she got some of her male friends to attack a witness's boyfriend to scare the witness out of testifying. That earned her even more charges for witness tampering and gang assault. She served six years of her eight year sentence before getting out in 2014. And it looks like the drama definitely runs in the family. Then folks are having a field day mocking Remy Ma saying she's a bad influence and that her son has got his bad behavior straight from her playbook. But word in the streets is that Remy is starting to feel the heat. Knowing her son could be looking at a long stretch in prison if he's found guilty of murder. And the drama just keeps getting crazier because there are not reports that Remy might be the one who put out the hit, allegedly. See, what a lot of people don't know is that the victim, Darius Gibo is not just any random person. He is allegedly a well-known criminal and kingpin in the hood, and it's very bad because his people are furious indeed, and they are out for blood. But that's not the craziest part. See, the real plot twist here is that Darius is also a cousin to Kenneth Petty, aka Mr. Nicki Minaj. This connection makes it messier because Remy and Nicki have had beef for as long as anybody can remember. 
The drama started with them way back in 2007, after Nicki threw shade at Remy Ma by claiming that she was the queen of rap. And in 2006, Remy released her first studio album, There's Something About Remy, based on a true story, where she declared herself as the undisputed queen of rap, saying, I'm the queen of rap and there is none higher. In 2007, Nicki threw shade in her mixtape Playtime is Over on the freestyle track Dirty Money. Nicki threw several shady lines at Remy on the track, like the part where she said, Tell that B with the crown to run it like Chris Brown. She won three rounds, I'ma need a hundred thou. Oh, y'all ain't know? Bitch, y'all beats know now. Well, Remy knew that those bars were about her. And in an interview, she claimed to have confronted Nikki about it, saying, When I seen her at a party, I was like, yeah, what was that line about? Remy said, To this day, I think it was a stab at me. That's what you do in rap, and I'm cool with that. They continued to throw shade back and forth with each other, and in 2016, Remy took it a step further when she dropped the song Money Showers with her Terror Squad collaborator, Fat Joe. In the song, Remy calls out an opponent who refers to herself as the Queen, a title that Remy says she doesn't deserve. She said, Be claiming she the Queen what? Not hardly. Who the F gave you a crown be Steve Harvey? Remy also made comments about how Nikki used a ghostwriter and barely wrote her own verses, even though she pretends to write everything. Then there's also the time that Remy had a freestyle and referenced Nikki's signature phrase, All these bees is my sons. In her line, All this talk about my son and your son. I'm hot and your whole world revolve around me. B, I'm the son. Well, Papoose then backed up his lady by rapping, There can only be one queen. Talk about a supportive man. Well, then Nikki fired back, saying that Remy had been out of prison for two years but made no impact in the rap scene. She said, I gave these bees two years. Now you it's Heinz up. Bless her heart, she throwing shots, but every line sucks. In the song, Make Love, Nikki clowned Remy's poor album sales, saying, Oh, you the quit a -a queen of this here? One platinum plaque album flop trick weir? You see, silly rabbit, to be the queen of rap, you gotta sell records. You gotta get plaques. S, plural like the S on my chest. Well, Nikki's little subtle jabs might have really hit home because just 48 hours later, Remy fired back with Sheether, a nearly seven minute diss track that takes direct aims at Nicki Minaj. Set to the beat of Nas's classic Ether, Remy spills all the tea, calling out everything from ghostwriting whispers to plastic surgery chatter. It was a musical showdown. She also posted the song on Twitter saying, you wanna see a dead body at Nicki Minaj. They have continued to throw shade at each other back and forth, and it was messy. So when people found out that the man who Remy's son allegedly unalive was Nicki's husband's cousin, fans went off online and started putting two and two together, and it's given for. According to some people, Nicki believes that Remy is allegedly behind this and that she put a hit out on her. Nicki believes that Remy had it out for her and that Remy was just trying to take her out, but it all went wrong and Darius got hit. Allegedly, Nicki and Kenneth had been talking to Darius on the day that he was shot. They had been together earlier on that day, only for Darius to get shot a few hours later. And interestingly, not long after Jason's arrest was announced, Nicki posted, call Webb. And according to sources, Webb is one of Darius's goons. Allegedly, she also tweeted, who up? What I just found out. Unfortunately, it seems like Remy's son is even more danger because Darius's friends and supporters have been threatening him on social media. Y'all posting my friend talking about justice for D-Block now that Remy, my son, then went to jail. And I just want to say that ain't no justice for D-Block. You think D-Block want sitting on D-Block for his You think D-Block want sitting on D-Block for his make it make sense other than his daughter and his family ain't none of y'all supposed to be saying no like that yeah because son wouldn't have been saying no like that if that black ass by you right there god forbid would have got killed in these streets ain't no way in the world me and my son d block would have been in sparkle crib talking about i hope that go to jail that by you no way in the world so for all of y'all posting justice for d block I just want to say, that sound like rats to me. Let's get to that.
Well, to no surprise, Remy is standing 10 toes down behind her son. She released a statement that said, We stand behind Jason's innocence and pray that the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This is undoubtedly a difficult time for my family and me. While we sincerely appreciate the love and support we have received from all of you, we kindly ask for privacy as our legal teams work to prove Jason's innocence. As his mother, I want to address the situation personally, but have been strongly advised by his legal counsel not to say anything. As most people in similar situations are informed by their attorneys due to it being an active case. Well, the streets are now claiming that it's only a matter of time before Remy's alleged role in this gets leaked. Y'all, it's getting messy. Well, the fans no doubt only have lots to say about it, and the barbs have been commenting, saying stuff like, Remy Ma's son was hired to kill Nicki Minaj's husband's brother. Here's the thing, Remy was beefing with her too, so she might have sent her own son. Remy Ma's son Jason Scott arrested for first degree murder? Why are all the Silver Spoon Trust Fund babies obsessed with being thugs? And the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Folks be worried about everything but raising them kids the right way. Y'all, this situation is giving popcorn and teacups. It's getting crazy out here. Who would have thought that Hollywood was living a movie style life? I need to know what y'all feel about this. Do you think that Remy was really trying to aim for Nikki? Or do you think this is just one of those situations of coincidence? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video. 